What is up YouTube, it's your boy Aaron out here with another new video for you guys. Just before we get into this video, I want to thank you all so much for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. This is so crazy man, like honestly, I can't thank you enough. I could go on about this for like 10 minutes if I wanted to, but I want to keep this relatively short so we can get into the pickups. So as you can see, I picked up more stuff than I did in January. I picked up one pair of jeans, two shirts, one hat, and two pairs of shoes. Anyway, let's get into the first thing I picked up this month, which is this pair of new denim right here. As you guys may or may not know, I already have a pair of denim by new. But they're in the black wax colorway. These are just the stone wash colorway. These are really, really nice. I actually got these a size smaller than my wax denim because my wax denim is honestly a little bit too loose on me right now. So I got these in a size 33. I could have went to a size 32, but I decided to just go with a size 33 because I prefer like the looser kind of fit. I just prefer how it feels. Anyway, guys, these are the denim right here. It's the stone wash colorway. See, it's got some distressing in the knees on both sides. Really, really nice, honestly. These come to about, I think, $180. Definitely worth the money. The other pair of denim I own by this brand I wear so much that it's actually got distressing in it right now. Honestly, these are just such a nice pair of jeans and I can't wait to be wearing these. One more thing I have to say about this pair of denim, this is in the way tapered cut. So this is the exact same cut as my wax denim. Honestly, man, I just can't wait to be wearing these. I'm gonna show you a quick on body look of these right now, just so you can see. The next piece of clothing I have right here is this overwashed purple long sleeve shirt by Belief. This is just a plain long sleeve shirt with the dropped shoulders right here. Belief is printed right on the pocket just in some almost like a pinkish like orange colour. I'm terrible with colours so that's why I don't really know the colour. Now this shirt's a pretty simple shirt, it's just overwashed, got the dropped shoulders right here. Belief screen printed just on the pocket right here. Besides that it's just a plain purple long sleeve shirt. It's more like a heathered like eggplant, I don't really know, I'm terrible with colours, but anyway guys, I got this in the size, um, I don't even know, I think it's large, it doesn't say the size on it, so it's either like a large or extra large, because it does have that oversized kind of fit, which I really like. Anyway guys, I'm going to show you a quick on body look at this right now, so you can see. Anyway guys, that is this shirt. I kind of bought this on an impulse buy. Honestly, I don't know how much I've been wearing this, but I think it is such a nice shirt either way. I got this from Zero Boutique. I also got this shirt from Zero Boutique, but at a different time. I got these pair of jeans from General Pants. Anyway guys, let's go to the next shirt I have right here, which is this black short sleeve shirt by Belief once again. It has a pocket once again with Belief printed on it right there. Now I think I got this shirt in the size extra large or extra extra large. Once again, it doesn't actually have the size on it right here, but this shirt fits really, really oversized. It's a little bit too long for my liking, but I had to pick it up nonetheless because I really, really liked how it looked. It's got the pocket right here, which says Belief, and then just on the back, which is the thing that actually sold me on this shirt, it says Belief printed right here, New York City. The Belief kind of reminds me of a, like a Nirvana-esque looking font. I think this is such a sick tee, man. Like, I really love the back of this shirt so much. The front is honestly a little bit plain, but the back is just what sold me on this shirt. I think it is such a dope shirt. It's like an overwashed black colorway as well, so it's like a faded black, which is so, so nice, man. I'm really into like faded vintage looking shit, so I'm really happy that I've got this shirt once again. I'm going to show you a quick on body of this one right now as well. Now just in case you're wondering why I bought these at two separate times, I went to the store. The first day I went to Adelaide, I got that shirt because I was just trying to kill some time and I honestly just picked it up because I could. Then the next day, I brought that shirt when I was trying to kill some more time because I only had like 30 minutes or so before I had to get ready to go to ASAP Rocky, which was such a lit concert, man. But anyway, guys, I went to get that shirt just because I had some time to kill and I found that shirt. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to leave that shirt here. I'm just going to get it. Anyway, guys, let's get into the next piece, which is this hat right here. Honestly, this is just another black strap back. Now this is the ASAP Worldwide strap back. It just says ASAP Worldwide with a little logo embroidered in the front right there. Besides that, it's just a plain black strap back. I got this at the ASAP Rocky show that happened like a week ago. It was fucking lit, man. After the concert, I also went to the after party. The after party was fucking lit as well. There was like ASAP Lou DJing. Um, it was just so fucking good. Rocky was there. Nas was there. Twelvey was there. Like it was fucking lit. I'm just gonna show you a video right now, just so you can see. Yeah. 
Anyway guys, as you can probably tell, I had such a good time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I actually posted that video. So follow me on Instagram. Um, it's just at Aaron and Monaghan if you want to do that. Anyway guys, here is the strap back right here. Plain black, ASAP Worldwide embroidered in the front. I didn't bring a hat with me to the show because honestly I'm not one of those people that bring hats to like shows or concerts or clubs or wherever because honestly, nine times out of ten they just get stolen or lost or whatever. And I didn't really want to bring a hat just to have it lost or whatever. But anyway, I saw this at the merch table of the show so I like picked it up, it was $35. It's such a nice strap bag though, honestly it's so filthy on the inside, it was just covered in sweat from the concert man and the after party, it was so fucking lit. Anyway guys, that was my ASAP Worldwide strap bag, I'm going to show you an on head look in case you guys want to see it right now. And that's all the pickups from February that I haven't shown you already, my other two pickups are of course my Margellas, which I got the other day, I already made a video about them. And also my Ralph Simmons Stan Smiths, which I also got the other day. I'm taking them out of the box right now. I was really prepared to make this video, as you can tell. Which are the all black aged Ralph Simmons Stan Smiths. I posted an unboxing video of both of them. There'll be on foot reviews for them as well in the future. But anyway, guys, that is all the stuff I picked up in February. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up the video. And anyway, guys, that's about all I have to say. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.